coronavirus and another legal fight shaping up between President Biden and Governor DeSantis. The governor saying yesterday he'll immediately go to court to fight the president's planned vaccine mandate once it's released. And he'll also he also hinted he wants Florida lawmakers to go even further. Mark Lehman's following the latest live at the vaccine site at Barnett Park again this morning. Mark, the governor says he doesn't want anyone to lose their job for not getting the shots. Yeah, he says the state has a responsibility to protect the jobs of Floridians, which will be harmed by this mandate. The governor saying he's preparing, prepared to uh, challenge the issue in court, also suggesting the state may need to pass a law to keep businesses from imposing their own mandates. I think that the mandate is going to lose um, in court. Governor DeSantis once again taking aim at policies from the Biden administration. The governor vowing to file a lawsuit as soon as the president issues a federal mandate requiring the vaccine or weekly testing for businesses with more than 100 workers. We are going to contest that immediately. We think the state of Florida has standing to do it. DeSantis also saying he'd back legislation to allow workers to sue their employer if they're punished for not getting vaccinated. If a business forces somebody to do this, then that employee, if there's anything that happens negative as a result of that coercion, you know, they should be able to go in and then and then sue and get get compensation and get damages for that. The governor stopping short of formally proposing legislation. Meanwhile, the number of new COVID cases and deaths is declining, which President Biden says is because of an increase in vaccinations. I'm asking everyone, everyone who hasn't gotten vaccinated, please get vaccinated. That's how we put this pandemic behind us. Now, when it comes to any possible legislation on the issue, chances are it couldn't go into effect for several months unless a special session is called. Any new law would have to be passed in the next legislative session, which begins in January. Live in Orlando, Mark Lehman, getting results, News 6.